11 Strangest Looking Creatures. Number 11, Panda Ant. These strange looking insects belong to the Matilidae family, which is comprised of more than 3,000 different species of wasp. The females are wingless and resemble large hairy ants. These bizarre black and white colored creatures can be found in Chile and are known for their extremely painful stings. They may look cute, but their sting packs a wallop, especially for their tiny size. Some refer to these sinister insects as cow killers or cow ants as their colony, when angered, will attack and have been known to take down a whole cow with a few dozen stings. The males are nocturnal, whereas the females are largely active during the day. The men are also around three times the size of their female counterparts. Panda ants feed primarily upon nectar secreted from flowers. Number 10, tree hoppers. These super strange looking creatures are insects. They are a form of thorn bugs native to South America, most commonly referred to as tree hoppers. Their defining characteristics besides those vibrant color patterns is their dorsal horns. The dorsal horn is straight and very brightly colored. Their sharp beaks pierce plant stems to feed upon the sap inside. These bizarre creatures will form mutualisms with wasps and sometimes geckos. They communicate with each other by small vibrations in their abdomens. Mutualism is a way for two organisms from different species to exist in a relationship in which each other benefits. The two creatures cooperate to stand a better chance of survival. These crazy looking critters feed on tree sap and usually only live a few months. Number nine, mantis shrimp. Some call these predators sea locusts, prong killers, or sometimes thumb splitters. These vicious shrimp can be found in tropical and subtropical waters. These marine crustaceans grow to be around 10 centimeters in length, though they can get larger given the right circumstances. The largest ever caught was 36 centimeters in length. That's one huge shrimp. The mantis shrimp's thick shell covers the rear part of its head and the first four segments of the thorax and varies in colors from brown to vivid psychedelic rainbow patterns. There are more than 450 different species of these crazy looking shrimp. These fearsome predators are known for hiding in burrows and holes. Be warned, these creatures are feisty and will attack if they feel cornered, cutting and slashing their powerful claws. They attack prey by spearing, stunning, and dismembering. These creatures may be a mistake to try to keep in captivity. There have been numerous examples of mantis shrimp destroying tanks and shops, breaking apart the aquarium glass in a single strike from their massive claws. Number eight, hummingbird hawk moth. It's a moth, it's a bird, it's a hawk moth. But really, it's a species of moth which kinda looks like a hummingbird. You can find this super strange creature throughout the northern old world, spanning from Portugal all the way to Japan. However, this insect greatly prefers a warmer climate, especially the likes of Southern Europe and Northern Africa. These strong flyers disperse around the world and in the summer can be found nearly everywhere in the Northern Hemisphere. In winter, these guys are known to migrate north of the Alps in Europe and have been spotted in Newfoundland, Canada, as well as occasionally in Southeastern Texas. These moths hover and create humming sounds as they fly. Even the way they feed on flowers is reminiscent of hummingbirds. This resemblance is the product of convergent evolution. These hawk moths will fly and feed during the day, especially in bright sunshine, but also at dusk. And if necessary, they will brave the rain to feed on flower nectar. Their favorite flowers are honeysuckle and red valerine. Number seven, lowland streaked tenrec. This small tenrec is mostly commonly found inside Madagascar. These mammals are a result of convergent evolution and they largely resemble hedgehogs, shrews, opossums, mice, and otters. Lowland streak tenrecs are the only mammals known to use stridulation for generating sound. This act of vibrational sound is usually only found with snakes or large groupings of insects. These species are most commonly associated with tropical lowland rainforest in the north and east sections of Madagascar. These small animals have short limbs, a long snout, and a vestigial tail. Their bright coloring patterns is most commonly black and yellow with stripes, which lines its body in fur, as well as sharp quills. 
Some quills are barbed and detachable to be used in defense against predators. Lowland Streak Tenrix are day scavengers who feed primarily on insects. They enjoy worms and fruits, though some who live in watery areas prefer small fish and sometimes frogs. Number 6. Sea Anemone It looks like a pretty flower or beautiful mushroom of some kind, but this creature is actually a sea anemone water-dwelling predatory animals who are related to corals, jellyfish, tube-dwelling, and hydra. Those translucent colored hairs are actually tentacles. These creatures can have tens of hundreds of these tentacles, plant-like arms which contain venom filled with acetinotoxins. The smallest touch to one of those hairs could lead to a defamatory strike, delivering a deadly dose of venom. The venom contains toxins and neurotoxins, which paralyze prey. Astenotoxins are especially toxic to certain species of fish and crustaceans. The sea anemones' favorite meal are small fish and shrimp. That weird phallic looking point at the end is actually the root. This creature can take on the appearance of a plant and root itself to the ocean bottom, waiting for prey to pass. But at times, this unique underwater critter will pull out its roots and change location, usually in order to find a new food source. Number 5. Long-Eared Jerboa These nocturnal mouse-like rodents have long tails, big hind legs for long jumps, and especially large ears. These silly-looking creatures can be found in Mongolia and some areas of western China. Most commonly, these creatures appear reddish-yellow or pale rust with white underbellies. These jerboas are small. They usually only measure around 70 itty-bitty millimeters to 90 tiny teeny millimeters. Their tail is usually around the size of their bodies, effectively doubling their length. These bizarre, furry creatures primarily dine on insects. They utilize sound to locate and capture their prey, often capturing the insects out of the air with long leaps. Number 4. Bush Viper these venomous vipers are found only in tropical rainforests of northern Africa. Another example of convergent evolution, these snakes have 10 unique species currently recognized. Though relatively small, the adults range from 40 centimeters or 16 inches to 80 centimeters or around 32 inches in length. These vipers have broad snouts. Their crowns are covered with small smooth scales which appear pointed. They have slender bodies and overlapping dorsal scales, which sometimes resemble brightly colored leaves. Their tails are strong and adapted for grasping. They can support the rest of their slithering bodies while suspended from a branch or twig. These creatures are largely arboreal, though every now and again can be found hiding under leaves as they make their way from the ground to tree. These strange snakes come in an astoundingly large variety of color patterns. Most of these creatures eat mice or small birds, though occasionally have been known to practice cannibalism. Bush vipers contain deadly venoms, which are strongly hemotoxic. Almost immediate upon being bitten, pain will cause swelling and blood clotting problems. Number 3. Honduran White Bat These disturbing looking nocturnal creatures contain snow white fur with cute little yellow noses and ears. These tiny critters usually measure between 3 and 5 centimeters in total length. They can be located in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, most commonly at elevations from sea level to 700 meters above. Their favorite meal is fruit. These tiny winged bats live in dense thickets of rainforest and abandoned banana fields called groves. They give birth to only one offspring each spring. Their white fur serves as camouflage to protect them from predators when they fly in the sunlight. They appear green, which allows them to travel unnoticed through the thick forest terrain. Number two, frill-necked lizard. These reptiles are sometimes referred to as the frill dragon. They are named due to the large ruff of skin which usually lies folded back against their heads and necks. The neck frill is supported by large spines of cartilage. When these scaly guys get frightened, they will gape open their wide jaws showing off bright pink or yellow lining. The flare will frill out displaying bright orange and red scales. Their mouths will emit loud, hissing, screaming sounds all meant to frighten away predators. When running, these strange creatures can be seen racing on all fours, 
accelerating with powerful hind legs used for jumping. If the frill-necked lizard fails in scaring off potential predators, they will leap and bound up foliage to escape climbing and scampering off and utilizing their camouflage to remain hidden. Number one, glass frog. These amphibians are mostly colored in lime green. The lower portion of their abdominal skin for this strange species of frogs is translucent leaving an internal view of organs, such as the heart, the liver, the gastrointestinal tract. Glass frogs originated from South America, but have found their way across Central and Northern Americas. Character evolution of this strange, elusive species seems to be complex, including multiple gains as well as losses of humeral spines, reduced hand webbing, and near complete transparency. These amphibians are generally very small, ranging from three to seven and a half centimeters long. Find these guys hopping and swimming mainly through river basins, especially during breeding seasons. But they are mostly arboreal, meaning they spend an abundant amount of their lives inside trees. 